welcome back so in this section we are going to do a car ui lib practical session so what we are going to do is uh, we are going to overlay the car settings app with an overlay using car ui lib okay so let's go ahead okay so i'll just tell you exactly what i am planning to do so i have the emulator open here and I have a terminal open here okay so let me enable the resource overlay now make it a little bit bigger okay so I have just enabled the uh, overlay now and you can see the color background color and the title got changed okay don't worry about the formatting so this is just a demonstration uh, don't learn uh, formatting from me so I'm very bad at that so just go ahead and uh, make your own formatting and design it as best as you can so this is the best I could do actually okay <laughs> just kidding okay so here I have enabled it and now let's disable that back okay I disabled it back so this is the command it's the command enable and uh, disable will sh I will show you that later so these are the two commands basically enabling and disabling okay so now okay so now I am back in my Visual Studio code and here uh, this is the simple RRO package which we which I have just created okay so it's a very simple package and here you could see it has only a resource folder with colors and styles okay so inside the colors you have got these uh, elements and inside the styles you have this so this is basically overlaying the title and this is basically overlaying the background color ripple color scroll uh, scroll bar thumb and two action divider color okay so these are the elements which actually exist in car ui lib okay and basically what we are doing here is we are overriding the car ui lib resources so only the apps which actually uses car ui lib will be affected by these overlays so as we know car settings is actually using car ui lib and that's the reason the color the background color title everything gets changed when we enable this overlay okay so in order to prove that i'll just quickly show you this element inside car ui lib so if you come up this is car ui lib and here you have the values and here you have the color this is the same file which we are actually overriding and I'll just double click on this and if you search for it so you can see it is actually set to black color which is actually the default one which we are seeing here right so when we overlay it gets changed to the new color uh, this one okay so behind the scenes it's basically a small apk simple rro.apk which actually just overlays the resources during runtime on top of the existing car settings app so uh, in summary the logic or the overall architecture is quite simple so basically it's just overlaying some resources during runtime uh, runtime uh, on top of the apk okay, on top of the apk okay so now we have the styles so as i said it is just the car title i'm just increasing it to atsp and the color is this one okay so then uh, let's have a look at the android.mk this is again a very simple mk file so you have these three new elements here car ui rro set name and this is the name of the rro and then car ui resource directory that's the resource directory it's pointing to this folder and then you have the target so target is actually uh, the applications which you are targeting so in my example i am only targeting settings app but you can target a number of applications here so you just need to add it over here like in case if you want to 
uh, focus dialer app so you can just give it like this like this or any any other app within the car you can just give it over here okay so in for this example i'm just focusing settings app okay but you can try it out with different apps later on okay so that's about this one and it also includes this car ui generate rro set okay and then we have the android.manifest.xml file so this is again uh, pretty straightforward here you have the package name the rro package name will be taken dynamically uh, uh, when you compile it uh, so you can just leave it as it is actually so it will be replaced dynamically during the build time and the target packages as well will be dynamically um, overdone during the build time okay so just leave these two as it is and then you have the priority so priority 10 means it's actually of uh, so so to explain that better just imagine that you have multiple overlays multiple static overlays okay so when you have multiple static overlays uh, a higher number means you have a higher precedence a lower number means you have a lower precedence okay as simple as that okay and then you have this static so e static means you can set you can create the overlay as static or not static so in this case i am setting it to not static okay so when you set a an overlay to static that means it is enabled by default and it's actually mutable not mutable okay so that means you cannot actually uh, change that during runtime so it's actually you cannot enable or disable that so in this case i am setting it to false so that you can change that okay so dynamically okay uh yeah okay then what else so then that's done uh, so we covered all the files within the sample RRO package Okay, now let's go ahead and compile our package compile our RRO package and install it into the emulator. Okay, so let's Close our emulator first and uh, Let me check where I am at the moment Okay, so I am inside the sample RRO package and so I am just building it now. Uh, okay, so let it build. okay so now the build is successful and i have the apk over here so i got a failure earlier so that was actually due to some some unnecessary space within the mk file uh, so just make sure that you don't have any unnecessary space within the mk file okay so now the apk is actually generated here so now let's uh, copy this path because I need to first open the emulator. Okay, then let's start my emulator. Okay, maybe. Yeah, this will do. Okay. And um, let me open a different window. Mm, yeah. So here I will just install. Okay, I have some path issues here. So where am I? Here. So I have some alias dot alias defined here. So don't get confused with that. Okay, so I have now installed it. Okay. Uh, so to make it very clear, uh, actually I have some 
alias defined here I have a set of alias here uh, with which I can have shortcuts so that's why I'm using shortcuts all the time so now let's uh, now the apk is already installed so now let into let's get into adb shell and here let's run the overlay cmd overlay list user current so here um, our our package was settings so you can see here our uh, overlay is there and at the moment it's actually disabled so let's go ahead and enable it so to enable you have to uh, you have to uh, give a command uh, overlay enable user current and then the package name so this package basically so I'll just copy this just paste it over here so I have now that enabled so let's come back so I can see that here okay so now let's uh, let me keep it like this so if you want to disable so if you want to disable uh, just disable it like this and it's gone okay so i hope you understood something from this video and uh, so just to quickly summarize uh, so we created this small package where you have resources you have colors styles and um, then you have an android.mk and an android.manifest so here you have just defined a small um, runtime overlay which which is actually overlaying the car ui lib and this pack this will be enabled only for the packages uh, specified here as well as uh, the one which uses the car UI lib so it is it's actually both uh, so you have to specify it here there is a first rule so if you specify it here uh, it has to be using car UI lib okay so if you specify a, a package which is actually not using car UI lib then this won't work okay uh, okay so basically this is overlaying the resources from the car ui lib okay so i hope uh, that makes sense and i hope you learned something out of it and um, i have attached all these um, code with this lecture please take it and uh, make your own modifications make some better styling and um, enable it and uh, in case if you have any trouble in setting it up please let me know i can help uh, okay, that's it. Thank you for your time.